everyone. Um, here again with another tutorial. Um, so here I'm with um, live and. And the um, bass line here, I'm going to solo it for a second. Okay, I'm hiding it right now, but um, this right here. This was an absolute butt to um, hook up because I have um, a left side and a right side. I'm just like, fuck this shit. But I did it. I'm just like, oh my god, it sounds so much better. <laughs> Okay, so there it is. Um, I'm going to do this entire bass again. I remember how to do it, so you guys can see how to make the um, um, bass. I can't remember what the name was. So um, I'm going to make a new project here. And I'm going to go into analog. <laughs> I used analog for this. <laughs> oh, fuck. I meant to do an instrument rack. Um, put an instrument rack in. And then, and then put in the analog. So then with analog, um, what you're gonna do is have um, a saw wave with the sync function on. And set the ratio to about 45 or so. Actually, more. And the second oscillator turn on as well. I'm gonna use a different. Um. Um, turn on the filter, um, set it to notch. Um. So this is going to be like the bottom um, frequency here. So kind of remember that the um, 1.6 um, uh, kilohertz. So I'm going to um, select this one. Um, it's in map mode right now. And then hit map. So the minimum is 1.6. K to the top. So number one. Oh, and this is such a butt to just do all this stuff, but it is so worth it in the end. Amazing. Like when I um, took my first look at this program, I'm just like, fuck this interface sucks. I was like spoiled completely by. Um, like the um, FL Studio almost edible interface. It just looked amazing. I just looked at that. I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. And then I looked at this. I'm like, wow, this could actually be really, really useful because 
so simple, doesn't really take much CPU. As soon as um, FL Studio, Studio started taking like tons of CPU, I'm just like, okay, done with this. So, um, let's see. There's a bass, fuck yes. Okay, that's not the entire bass. I'm sorry to say that, but that is only the beginning, the tip of the iceberg here. So, uh, let's see. The next thing we want to do is um, duplicate this. If we're going to make it stereo, that is. Like, I have stereo. Actually, fuck. Um, um, I'm going to just do this mono for now. And add a... Um, I'm going to add a spectrum so you can like see what's going on. And an EQ8. And we're probably going to be using 8 EQs here. Um, so for this filter, I'm going to have one that cuts off the uh, lower frequencies. And the rest are all going to be controlled as notches. So like... Also notch, also notch, in Minecraft, well, as you should know, also notch, and so here's another one, Minecraft, also notch. And the person who made um, Stockholm, Sweden, also Notch. And seven is probably going to be enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is completely crazy. So memorize the um, frequency it's at. And then go to map mode. Ah, there we go. Um, map mode. So number two, um, 214 kilohertz. That's a bit, l no, that's fine, I guess. Okay, cut, cut 214 with um, the high pass filter. And you go to map mode. Select number two. Hit map. Hopefully I remember what that was. Was it 214? Yeah. Okay, so um two fourteen hertz as close as I can get. And the top is going to be right about here, so that's two point four kilohertz. <laughs> Number three is at 441 hertz. Now hit map, 441 hertz. Close as I can get. And this one's going to be a little bit higher than um, number two. Number four, um, eight sixty hertz. There we go. That's pretty cool. Um, you didn't see that though, unfortunately. Um, the top frequency is going to be just a little bit higher than the, pre the previous one. And we're going to select number 5. And... Okay, just look at... Um, I just forgot to memorize it, but I could see that it was missing a part right there, so I just put it right, right in between. Number six. 
six, 360 kilohertz. Actually, a comb filter. Now that I think about it. Well, at least it looks cool. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, you can't see that very well. God damn it! Oh well. a comb filter. We just made that out of the EQ8. I mean you can do a lot with this. Um, and all you have to do now is just like reset all these like maybe change the type or something like change it from notch to like whatever this is. basics of this I'm probably going to do more on this because like it's pretty extensive so yeah thanks for watching and for now